Kakashi Goto. A story about a girl who found out about her father's secret. But there's so much more behind it, so let's focus on that. Hello, hello, it's your boy Otaku, and today we're doing another video. Now, before I start, I do want to quickly add that I stream mostly every day on Twitch. So, I would really appreciate it if you give me a follow. But for now, let's begin. Kakushi Goto, released in April 2020, which was sort of around when lockdown started. It was animated by Aija Do, which you would have known for recently animating Kimono Jihen. The story is about Kakashi Goto and his daughter Hime. Now Goto is your average salary man. He's a single father, he takes care of his daughter. But the one thing you didn't know about him is he's not a salary man. He's someone else entirely. For what he is, is a manga car. Now, he is a manga car, of course, where he does a weekly series, but for some reason, he keeps it from his door. When Hime was born, it changed his life, especially when his work was called out to be a doi manga. On that day, he realized that his door should never know his true line of work as he felt she might never trust him again. He does his best to keep it a secret. Though it can be hard from time to time, as you know, he, he is known for his work, especially having a very unique cover photo. Now, this series is a slice of life and a comedy, but it isn't like your other comedies like Kaguya-sama or Toradora. It might not make you laugh, but the visuals and the joke definitely lines up the room, it just breaks the tension. It's very light felt, so it definitely makes you feel relaxed and comfortable to binge watch. I like it for its soft visuals, smooth character design, nice to see vibrant scenery, and of course the voice acting, especially the voice actor for Goto san who, is, who you may know him from AOT as Captain Levi. Okay, I will admit, I did not start this anime when it was first came out. I don't know why I, I was I was just not bothered. But it was about like six episodes in when I first watched it. And as soon as I finished the first episode, I absolutely enjoyed it. It, it just felt so good. And after I did finish that first episode, I just literally binge watched the other five episodes. And at that moment, I knew I needed more. But the one thing that makes this show like really like binge watching material is the foreshadowing in it. We saw Hime at the beginning as a grown up finding out the truth about our father. While it had this very depressing atmosphere as if something has happened. And it can be shown through the colors, the, uh, the beautifully blue waves, uh, which I find them very visually pleasing and and they have dropped some hints in the opening. This tells us what might the fate of the series could be, especially when something could have happened to Goto-san. Before I finish this video, I just want to quickly talk about how beautiful both the opening and ending are, in terms of visuals, music, and the sync with the story. It is just so good. <laughs> If I had to rate the anime out of 10, in my opinion, I would definitely give this a, a bang of 9. I had a great time watching this anime, especially weekly, when it ended as well. Uh, especially when we were in the hard moments of 2020. The one thing I do want to do about the series is read the manga one day, if only they have physical prints. 
I'm more of a physical prints guy than digital, so hopefully that they will come. Thank you for watching this video. I had a great time talking about my my favorite series of 2020, especially when that was my anime highlight. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like or a comment. And why don't you subscribe uh, uh, for my future content? But yeah, thank you and sayonara.